Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. <laughs> well, I still don't have a pickup. Not sure how long I'm gonna be without a pickup. Doesn't get much use anymore. I actually built this trailer. I bought it from a guy and it wasn't much and yeah, I built a trailer. It doesn't get a whole lot of use these days. This little trailer has seen a lot of loads. I'm gonna take everything off of it and repaint the sides and make it all pretty and red again. We are kind of make, I'm kind of making progress. Pardon the wind. I live up on the windiest hill. So I've got the little trailer mostly torn apart. And it is, it's worse than I thought it was. I went ahead and stripped it all down so I can get a good paint rust removal on the frame and then my wheels they were like that going with something, whoop, something a little different and here they are in progress instead of the white uh, anything white would match what i have in up here in the old noodle so i'm doing doing a little fancy all right go back to work i'll give you a progress update here in a little bit some finishing up for the day i've made some progress got it all broke down as far as it's gonna go cleaned it i'm amazed at how dirty it was now i said i built this trailer i didn't build it from scratch i bought a project from someone who didn't didn't know really what to do with it it's an old boat trailer and I, I, I made some adjustments to it. I, I put the, the, originally the tow bar was attached and I installed a, a pivot so the whole trailer tilts. You see that on a lot of boat trailers but it typically breaks up here at the front. sits high for most cars but it works out great with the f-150 it's actually the same height as the bumper not the receiver but check out them red the wheels <laughs> that looks cool i like it it's a lot better than them than the white ones that were scratched up all right i'm calling it a day it's beer 30. Stay tuned. More trailer to come. Had to make a run to Big Blue Box Home Improvement Store. To pick up some new sideboards and deck material. I wasn't expecting to go this deep into refurbishing the trailer. I thought I was going to be able to put a... Anyway, I'm basically starting from kind of scratch. But I gotta get the coat of the paint on the wood. I gotta get the wood cut and then paint it. We've got storms coming tonight, so I won't be putting the deck on this, but I gotta get the, the wood started so it can be drying before I start working on cleaning up, finishing the frame. So I still have to sand everything down and paint the frame meanwhile i've got to cut the wood and good morning and we had we had some rain blow through last night everything kind of got wet anyway give you a trailer rebuild update yesterday i got the framework all sanded scraped did some grinding i spent a couple of hours prepping it for paint i went through one can of rust reformer for some of the rusty spots and then i went i've gone through three cans of primer 
And so far, three cans, three double or big project cans. So three of those, not quite all the way through three of those, but definitely three, three cans of primer. We want to make sure there's no rust. Rust is not my friend. I started, I got, I got the first coat of paint on the side rails. Now these are going to be a little brighter red. If you're going to be doing any painting, rather than having to clean your brushes every day, just wrap them up in a grocery sack. Make them kind of airtight. Works on oil and latex. So the side rails are going to be gloss safety red rust-oleum enamel. I really like this this product. It has held up very well. As you can see, uh, that's the inside. So most of the bare wood is a result of uh, gravel and dirt being scraped off. But heck, that was, that was 18 years ago. So it's held up pretty good. These are the new deck boards, five quarter by six inch. There'll be eight of them. So there'll be some cracks between them, but for a utility trailer, that's all right. And I'm using a solid stain. I've never worked with this before. This is a Rust-Oleum product. When I pulled the trailer out and decided I was gonna clean it up, I, I had no intention of replacing the deck. I was just gonna use that because that'll fill quarter inch cracks so i was going to stain the old boards but they're pretty rough so we decided to go with all new now that the price of lumber's come back down each one of these is eight dollars a board all right let me do some more get some painting done and i'll check back in before the day's out the homemade utility trailer's almost done there you have it I still have to put the lights on. I'm not going back with the, the same incandescence that I had on it. I've got some LEDs coming from, of course, Amazon. So there's the tilt. It's time for a beer. I'm on day five of my, my utility trailer rebuild. So all the material that I took off the trailer has got to go somewhere can't stay on the driveway but I don't like throwing stuff away you know, in the first version of my utility trailer I had side rails I made it look like a little red wagon and I like the way that looked so I'm gonna turn these old floorboards into another version of that there'll be there'll be it'll be a stake bed trailer i'm gonna rip these all down rip them in half today today is one of those days where i wished i had a planer a bench planer but i don't all i have is a you know some circular saws or table saw if you have any tool for working wood, I think that's a must. So I took that stack of lumber, the old deck, and I have cleaned it up, cut it down, two inch wide planks, and I've run it through the table saw this way. I've actually skimmed both sides, front, top, and bottom, and I've routed the edges. I don't have a bench router. I have a little handheld router, but I'll finish off the curves, the rounding the edges with some 60 grit sandpaper. All right. That's, where, that's progress so far. Actually, when you're working with any lumber on a table saw, you have to be mindful of that lumber bowing in on you and binding up on the saw. Growing up in the trades, I met a lot of guys that didn't have all of their digits because they were not paying attention when they were working with that spinning blade. So, 
if if you're a novice and you're trying to refinish reclaim some lumber i'd recommend you go get a planer rent one it's safer been a couple been, been about a week since i worked on the trailer project and or picked up the camera yesterday i put a coat of poly shade by minwax on there this is the pecan color i thought that would work better with the old treated lumber boy it sure soaked it up too so i actually need to go back and do a quick sand with the belt sander and then apply another coat but i still don't have a truck <laughs> so i'm not gonna be running to the big box retailer today to pick up to, to pick up any so i'm gonna i'm gonna get everything ready to assemble get it all probably just gonna go ahead and put it all together and then come back and sand down where it needs to needs because you can see i've got some some oopsie parts some drips and some runs that's what happens when you use a cheap brush all right so i'll come i'll i'll be back with more shortly i'm building a utility trailer out of a boat trailer actually i'm rebuilding my utility trailer that was built from a boat trailer i decided the uh previous iteration had lower sideboards and i found that every time i needed to haul brush really wasn't high enough i had to since i had the material i decided to make it taller i can always cut it down if i want to this is a two foot sideboard almost complete with the sideboards and then i've got to manufacture the picket pockets picket pockets I'll, I'll check back in when I get the other side put together. All three rails, sides, picket sides, are finished. Now you'll notice they, they kind of roll out here on the back because the boards, my sideboards are a little bit twisted. But that's okay. I plan on having some kind of ratchet strap on there anyway. And I'll have the front secured as well. So it pulls in. I have a solution in mind. Anyway, I'm done for the day. But that's the little red wagon. We're almost there. I need to put the tail lights, put the lights back on, and the stake pockets. And another coat of varnish, touch up some paint, and then we'll be ready to start the original, <laughs> the real project. Stay tuned. I'm still making a utility trailer out of a boat trailer. This morning, yesterday I finished assembling the sideboards, and this morning, I'm working on making some stake pockets. It's basically a rectangle of plywood with uh, the spacer being, this, this, the spacer is left over from when I ripped down the old, the old trailer deck. So a little bit of time on the table saw and the miter saw. I have all of the stake pockets mounted. Now all I have to do is paint them and they will match the sideboard of the trailer. And I've pulled the sideboards off. I'm going to put another coat of stain and polyurethane on those tomorrow. Only because... I don't have any on hand and I don't have a vehicle. Five weeks waiting for a new transmission. All right. 
I'll be back with another progress report. Stay tuned. Time for a progress report. So yesterday, I finished putting on the stake pockets and getting them painted. From the side, you, you really can't even see they're there, which is kind of the intent. So I've put another coat of pecan polyurethane on one side of the sideboards, waiting for that to dry. Today, I'm going to be inserting the bolts. Right now, the stake pockets are held on with screw, just screws and glue. So there's going to be one bolt on each one, and that'll be anchored into the steel frame on three of them and then well on six so the back three will be anchored to the steel frame and the front four will just be attached to the wood well, that's where i am right now more to come when i got more done coming to the finish line on the how to convert a boat trailer into a utility trailer almost done so we have two for the stake pockets they're super stable now what i had before was not real strong but this these tie down points we've got eight ten we have ten tie down points and each one has a bolt going through the frame Ooh, got some wind blowing sorry there's no place here to get out of the wind so each tie down point has a bolt going into the frame to give it super strength so you can we can tighten down on those as tight as we want to go i also have installed the lights put a couple of little marker lights on the, the side here at the rear I've got bars I thought about doing a piece of wood back here but the more I looked at it the more I like you know that's just clean and simple I like it now my neighbor started mowing yesterday while I was working on the sideboards and so I got a lot of grit looks like i'm gonna have to do a, a 120 grit sandpaper to smooth those off and then put another coat of poly we're almost done i, I got a couple more things i want to do one is a spare tire mount i'm gonna mount the spare tire somewhere here i'm thinking i need I need some some kind of box to store straps and ropes lug wrench i need a couple of little toolboxes somewhere and i don't want to put them on the front because it's already front heavy with the longer tongue so somewhere on the back somehow i don't know i, I got some ideas i gotta get those materials so that may be Maybe another video. All right. Let me do a little more finish work. I'm calling it done for now. There's there's still a couple of things I want to I want to do. I mentioned that earlier. That's a, a spare tire holder and some kind of toolbox. But for all intents and purposes, the red wagon is done. There she is, the final product. Ready to roll. Now I just need something to haul. Actually, I have a bigger project in mind that I'm thinking about. And I need your... I need your position, your thoughts. So I, I started this thing, I was considering building a square drop trailer that 
is removable a square drop rv the question i have is is that something that you that y'all would watch would that get you excited if that would get you excited post in the comments down below and help me decide whether or not i'm gonna venture down that path because it'll it'll be it'll be a build if i can only work for a couple hours at a time before the the hands and everything starts to go crazy so it'll be a timely process it'll take several months but tell me what you think anyway if this is your first visit to dude rv i sure appreciate you stopping by to see my little utility trailer overhaul rebuild thank you I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you. I am most honored. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?